Slime is one of the most popular trends to hit the internet. DIY videos are popping up all over YouTube, but one girl has taken slime to a whole other level. I'm embarrassed to say I just figured out what DIY was very recently. Fluffy slime. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. <laughs> I know. Do it yourself. I finally figured it out myself. Good Rhinestone job. slime, crunchy slime, my favorite, edible slime, you name it. This girl has done them all. Please welcome YouTube sensation, slime queen, and all-around cool chick, Karina Garcia, here in studio with us to help us learn how to make some slime. Yeah, hey welcome, guys. Karina. How are you? Good, so, thank you. I, I gotta ask you, you know, people come in with all different types of cool things. I always uh -huh. wonder, what led them down that path? What day did you wake up and say, slime is gonna be my thing? So I've always known that slime existed just because when I was little, it was like in, sold in little barrels, but it was a different type of slime. Also, there wasn't that many videos on YouTube. There was like a handful, maybe like four videos. And I came across a basic recipe on how to make like the most basic slime. And I wanted to do different things with it. I started adding like random stuff into it to make different textures. I started experimenting with different uh, ingredients and stuff. And I just kind of like fell in love with it and took off from there. How many years ago was this? Uh, two years ago. Wow. So yeah. si ever since then, you have over 25 million views on YouTube. It's incredible. It's yeah. crazy. It's, it's really crazy. crazy. And you have an amazing backstory, right? Because life mm -hmm. wasn't always as, as smooth as this. Oh, group. no. <laughs> yeah, like two years ago, my family and I were living in a mobile home. I had nothing going for myself at all. I didn't even have a job. My brother is a wedding coordinator, so I would like go on the weekends and help out and like serve food. But like my parents would always tell me, like, go back to school, get a job, like, you're not doing anything. And I was just <laughs> lazy. And I started YouTube, and it was like, you know, I liked it, and I guess it was like my thing. And your yeah. twin sister said it was your thing, right? She said you have yeah. an amazing personality. Yeah, my twin sister started YouTube before I did. She was on YouTube for two years when I started, and all my friends and her, like, they all told me to do it because like my personality, I guess, I was like funny. And I really wanted to do it, but I was just scared. And one time I made some lipsticks at home with some lip gloss and eyeshadow pigment. And I liked them so much that I got the confidence to film it. And then it just happened. Well, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta tell you, my, th my son, my 10 year old son Carter, thanks you for mm -hmm. doing this because he absolutely oh, loves the slime. I don't love it in the house. It can <laughs> oh, get it's kinda, so messy, it yeah. Can get crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. But where do we begin? Show us how we get started. Let's here. get Let's messy do a little today. Demo. So it's so easy to make. There's like a million recipes, first of all, but this is fluffy slime. This is my favorite. So you need some glue, which we have already in our containers. Okay. Next up, we need some food coloring, uh -oh. so. Food coloring is dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll just add about three drops because you don't want to stain your hands. And then I'm we definitely just... going to make a mess somehow. Yeah, it can get a, it can get a little bit sticky and messy. I added a few messy, extra but, drops. Okay. But we got some um, mixing uh, spoons, so we could just like mix in our So when I was in coloring. grade school, I used to be the guy that when he got like glue on his finger, it would be like, no, you ate the, the glue? glue? Oh, yeah. Did oh, everybody do so that funny. when you were young? I used to let it dry because I like peeling it off my hands. Yeah, yeah see, okay. Or your desk so, yeah. or something. Clear yeah. weird like me. All right, no, good. Danielle's over there judging us. No, peeling it off is very us. different than eating glue. <laughs> yeah. Everybody ate glue at one point in their lives. Come on. It's I think so I tasted funny. it, yeah. Okay, so we got good color to it now. Okay. So okay. now we're going to add some shaving cream. This is going to make it fluffy. It's literally going to triple in size. Wow. So you just kind of go is in it really? there. How did you yeah. figure out how to make this? Oh, so this recipe, um, so I, I didn't figure this one out. Um, I don't know how like it's someone online. thought about this. Who cares? This, like, we're here doing it right but, now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. You how just, much do we do? So I never use exact recipes. I just eyeball everything. You just kind of want uh, maybe like uh, three seconds of it. Like, see. Oh, you have enough already. And that's perfect, yeah, that's Okay, fine. <laughs> she's like, stop. Yeah. Okay, okay, and then you just mix that in. Okay, ooh. It smells good. Yeah. Shake, shake, shake. And then you just mix it until like everything uh, is blended together. No, and then would... can you mix food coloring to make it different colors? Oh yeah, you can make galaxy and all these like cool. Okay, we're starting to get slime. some consistency here. Yeah, so this is basically like your base. Now you have like the fluffiness. After this, you're gonna go in with uh, your slime activator, that's what they call it. Um, there's so many slime activators, first of all. There's like all kinds of detergents and like all these crazy recipes. Okay. Today we're gonna use the borax method. So basically what it is, is borax is like a powder form of detergent. You just put about three pinches per cup of water and it's in here, it's already mixed in. Ooh. So you just add it in slowly. And we could share this. Okay, you thank you. You just add um, a little bit at a time, and then you mix, and then we keep adding until it comes together. And I then love that's that yours is pink, Jordan. And then we got the slime. I love oh! It. Ooh, it's yeah. starting to feel like slime. Yeah. This is so fun for kids. 
Oh yeah, kids love it. It's like for a science kids, this experiment. This is fun for adults. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, I'm like in my 20s, and I actually like it's stress relieving for me. Yeah, for <laughs> Honestly, sure. Honestly, yeah. It really is. Do you do you ever like think that maybe you'll sell your own slime? Oh, that, it's actually funny because um, I'm actually working on Slime Kids right now. I'm coming out with um, yeah, it's already my there. company, Craft City, at Target oh, yeah. on October 1st. It's basically like crafting kits, but it's launching with um, Slime Kits and then like pre-made slime and stuff. So October 1st in Target stores. That is awesome. So, I'm for sure going to check that so out. Karina, how long until it's good to go? Are we there? So uh, not quite. We still have to add like a little more until it comes together. So... Okay, well, we're going to keep working, and we'll be back after this break. A huge <laughs> thank you to Karina for some slime inspiration and some life thank inspiration. You. To purchase tickets for her show this weekend, go to fullscreenlive.com, and be sure to pick up her book, Karina's Do-It-Yourself Slime, to create all of Karina's most popular creations. Yeah, this is the time where we slime you to go to break, right, Danielle? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back, guys. <laughs>